Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to kind of address something. Um, I got a comment from Carol Clans Serta about four days ago and I don't know when this video will post so <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Um, information is information. Um, she had uh, said that she was having, she's got two problem nails like I do and uh, she was asking for suggestions. She's been using the um, IBX every two to three weeks and I had to give up on that because my nails have just, I can't get them to grow. Well, I got something on there. Um, I just can't get them to grow right now. I, I think I know what the problem is, though. I have not been taking my vitamins. My biotin, I've been sampling other base coats. Uh, but I have a couple of problem nails, and I don't know if you can see how lumpy this nail is. And this one's lumpy also, but it's also split, and it goes down into the nail bed way back here. So it's always, always a thing that I'm having to work with. So my thumbs are always problems. And I guess this should have been like the state of my nails video. This one right here, it's actually separated. There's like one of those peelies right there waiting, waiting to just peel. So I've... Tried to keep, and this one had one too. So I'm just trying to keep them filed back and, um, you know, try to get them back in shape again because uh, I just don't like the state that they're in right now. They're, they're a hot mess. So I, I thought about uh, maybe, you know, just, um, i got to get this off my finger. It's making me crazy. Um, I thought about just, and I filed even these back some, um, I have not been using my Nail Teaks Formula 2 in a while. It's been mm, probably over a month, and I'm thinking that might have something to do with it. But the thing about it is, is everybody's body chemistry is different. So, if Nail Teaks works for me and it doesn't work for you, that's probably why. And I've been using the IMK, the BioBase. This is the sticky one, but I've also been using the, the regular one, this one. And I wanted to, like, use it for a long time to really get an idea if it was, you know, helping me or not. But I've kind of reached the point now that I'm so desperate that to get my, like, especially like this one that, I mean, this has been going on for two months, this peel and it'll grow out and the peel keeps going further back um so uh, you know i'm kind of at my wits end on it so i'm thinking about going back to my favorite my jam my ride or die my nail teaks because that really has been the one that has done me the best so far now i do have some new ones from Bases Loaded Lacquer. We got a Take Your Base. It's a protective base coat. And then we've got her Low and Away. It's a foundational base color. So it's a real sheer color to, you know, if you have yellowing on your nails or whatever, it'd be great for that. But personally, this girl is probably going to, number one, start taking her vitamins again. Number two, I'm going to start back with my Nail Teaks Formula 2 for all manicures until I can get a grip on this, at least. Because I really do want to try these. I think that they're great. Um, but, you know, we all have struggles with our nail situations. And I'm sharing mine with y'all because, uh, you know, I share all my nail stuff with you. Um, now, I can say I was having a lot of trouble with, like, all this cuticle area and cuticles and I mean y'all between the sanitizer and the extra hand washing for over a year you know that that did some really beat down on my nails and I have been religiously using uh, nail oil I've got two or three different ones I got one from Gileen one from IMK that I've been using I've got one from Maniology I've been using I've been doing really, really good about my oiling my nails and cuticles and stuff at least, you know, two or three times a day, if not more. 
And I also have been using a nail cream that I got from Ribbity Stickets. And I'm using that every night, you know, rub it in after my cuticle oil. And I have actually been leaving my nails naked a little bit more um, so that I could do that. Like two or three days a week, I will uh, take my nail polish off and so that I can just get that cuticle oil down on them nails. So I just, you know, I wanted to share that because I know I'm not the only one struggling with this. I mean, and when Carol mentioned it, um, in her comment to me, I thought, maybe take a minute and, you know, share this. And maybe you guys have some suggestions. I don't know. Like I said, I think what I'm going to do, totally go back to my nails, Nail Teaks Formula 2 and get those vitamins started up again. And it's going to take a good month or so for me to even start noticing, you know, if, if it's helping or if there's a change. But, as always, I'll be posting videos so you guys will get to see exactly how well it all works for me. But once again, if you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments. Because Carol and I would really appreciate anything you could throw out there. I know a lot of people think that since I have a nail art channel and I've been doing it for a long time that I know all the stuffs. So I so don't know all the stuffs. So. And with everybody's body chemistry being different, that changes it too. So, we will, um, but I do like trying things and, and seeing, you know, that's how I found Nail Teaks. That's how I found out about taking biotin, you know, the hell, hair, skin, nails, vitamin. And um, so, you know, just leave me a comment down below. And uh, hopefully we can, get, we can all get around this and get our nails healthy. <laughs> So, that is all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Like, I just wanted to open a discussion about it since it has been coming up in the comments. So, let's just all get together and see if we can figure it out. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.